We're getting ready to uh, rotate the tires on this 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. So we'll show you how to rotate the tires on your vehicle. All right, so we're gonna rotate the tires. When we're doing our tire inspection, you know, we wanna make sure, now this particular tire was a little low on air, and when it's low on air, it's gonna wear the tire prematurely. Tires are very expensive. You wanna make sure that you maintain the proper tire pressure, the maximum life out of the tire. Now, you can see this tire has a little knifing, they call it here, so if I run my hand up it, you can hear it catching the tire versus the middle is smooth. So we're gonna rotate these. We're gonna put the two rears in the front and then the front tires, we're gonna crisscross. So this left front tire is gonna go in the right rear. The right front tire will go in the left rear. That's gonna wear these tires smooth again because this tire now won't be rolling this way. It's gonna be on the right rear. So it's gonna be rolling the opposite way. So it'll smooth this out. You should do your tire rotation you know, six to 7,500 miles. If you're doing your oil change at 7,500, try and get in the habit of doing your tire rotation at the same time. You'll get maximum life out of your tire. Tires now are anywhere between, you know, 125 and $200 a tire. Um, they, they, they get really expensive. So you wanna make sure you get the maximum life. We're also looking for dry rots in the tire. We don't see any on this particular tire, but we see the, the edge of the tire because of the pressure was low on it. Um, so we're going to rotate these now and extend the life of the tire. Okay, we got a 21 millimeter socket on here to take these lugs off and we're going to start the rotation. When I'm rotating tires, I like to depend on the NASCAR pit crew. If <laughs> <laughs> you first, you last. <laughs> right, Steve? All right. <laughs> So we'll loosen up all the lugs first and then we'll do the rotation. So I kind of like to put the ties in the position that they're gonna go in so you don't mix them all up. So we're gonna go over, I'm gonna take the other front one off. We're gonna put that into the position that we're gonna attach it to the vehicle in. They're stubborn. Usually you can hit them with your hand, break them free. You can also put some Nevises on the rotor right here. And that's gonna, because this is steel and the <clears throat> rim is aluminum, you'll get some uh, oxidation builds up and it can stick the tires on. Let's get stuck in the socket. Usually they'll break free if you tap it on the ground. Now I know Tony's not going to forget to put Nevises on that front wheel before he puts this tire on. Well, he's going to get all his tires rotated in position, then he's going to put Nevises so that the tires aren't sticking like this anymore. Okay, so we got one more tire to pull off, and then we're going to do, uh, never see all the hubs over here, um, so that we don't have uh, any oxidation. And if you're on the road, the tire's not going to be stuck on the rim. The, excuse me, the rim will not be stuck on the road. Tony. <laughs> Don't lose your nuts. <laughs> Little amount of season goes a long way. Yeah. Now it's going to go straight up to the left front. Now we're going to put the Nevises on. So when you have the tires off before you put them back in, add a little Nevises to the studs. 
and also the contact points. You can see we had that wheel made contact with the rotor. So what this will help to do is it'll help to prevent that wheel from sticking like they just did to the, um, the rotor. So if you get stuck on the side of the highway and you have the stupid tools that come with the car <laughs> and you don't have power tools, you don't want to struggle too much. You get yourself out of the jam, right, Steve? Yep. And he's also, after he's done that, he's going to put the Nevises around the round part of the rotor here, which is the actual the spindle hub bearing. And that's a big part of where the uh, rim sticks to this. And we're going to do the same procedure here on all four wheels. And then we're gonna put our rotors back on. That's a nice job there. We have just enough on it. It doesn't have to be sloppy, sloppy. You just wanna get a little on there so that it stops the contact from building corrosion there. And that's gonna happen every time when aluminum meets steel. And we're in Massachusetts and there's a lot of crappy weather around here, so. You're in Massachusetts, happen. I'm in New Hampshire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm in leaded skidded country. <laughs> <laughs> I think Daryl Walsh would have used us. What do you think? Yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> all right, Tony's going to put the tire back on. We got all the rotation done. All of our nevises has been put on. So he's going to tighten this one up. I want to catch all your leg nuts by hand. Let's tap the threads by hand. These are aluminum wheels. Be careful when you got the impact gun and the socket on there that you don't damage the wheel. As that'll make for a bad day. Uh, these wheels, these particular wheels, we're kind of doing this as a general automotive video, but the wheels on this Nissan Pathfinder um, have these lug nuts that are acorns like that, and they sit into a pocket on the wheel. You can see that it's recessed in a little bit. So get all your lug nuts on, and on this particular truck, we might have to wiggle the wheel around to make sure that they're seated correctly before we impact them on. The proper way to do this too is to make sure that all the wheels, lug nuts are torqued down the torque wrench, right Steve? Yep. And so right now, I'm going to snug these lug nuts down, and I'm going to go in the crisscross patterns. I'm going to start down here, go up here, go to the side here, crisscross over here, so that it sucks this wheel down uh, evenly, and it's kind of torqued evenly. You don't want to go like all around like that, because you won't torque the wheel correctly. Right, Steve? Yep. And then pack on, go slow. Not cranking down on them yet. So you want to crisscross. All right, so we Tony got the tire rotation done. We got our tire pressures up to snuff. Now on the other tire, you notice that there was some knifing over here. So now our tire is smooth. It's not catching the glove anymore and we're gonna get maximum wear. So that tire that's in the back is gonna wear straight now, and we have our best tires up front for the winter. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, it help us all the time. If you have any questions, leave a comment, I will reply back to you, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell when you do, you'll get a notification when we upload a video. Thanks for watching.